Storing the ever-increasing amount of data we create each day has driven the growing demand for data storage in homes, businesses, industries, and cloud services. In this video, we're going to cover how to install the WD My Passport portable storage drive on a Windows computer. Before we get started, there are some considerations to keep in mind. First, the drive does not require any external power source. It gets all the power that it needs from the host system through the USB cable. This is a good thing. This means no extra cables or power supplies to fuss with. Second, consider the placement of the drive. Avoid bumps, jostling, drops, and falls. Place the drive on a safe, stable, and secure location to protect against device damage and data loss. Finally, keep this in mind. The WD My Passport portable storage drive leaves the factory NTFS format for use with Windows. To use this on a Mac or Chrome OS system, refer to the installation and formatting tutorials linked in the description below. Let's begin installation. If you take the WD My Passport portable storage drive in your hand and inspect the top edge, you will find the USB port. As you grab the USB cable, notice the flattened appearance and the distinctive offsetter crimp on one of the cable ends. This ensures that we connect the cable to the drive in only one way. Now, take the other end of the cable and insert it into an available USB Type-A port on your laptop, desktop, or USB hub. If your system is running Windows 7, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10 and above, the drive should mount right away. Typically, you will hear a beep or chime as the operating system mounts the drive. In some instances, you may also notice a notification pop-up indicating that your system identified the WD My Passport portable drive. Clicking the notification pop-up reveals certain actions you can take with the WD My Passport portable drive. Among those, you'll see Open Folder to view files. Here, you can see that the WD My Passport portable drive is visible in Windows File Explorer and ready to use. If you do not see a notification pop-up, you can find your WD My Passport directly in the Windows File Explorer under this PC. It will be labeled My Passport and it is ready to use. Your WD My Passport purchase includes access to WD Security, WD Drive Utilities, WD Backup, and WD Discovery software. While not required to simply get you up and running, installing these applications is recommended so you don't miss out on all the extra security features, device management features, and the latest software updates. To learn more, refer to the video in the description below. And that's all it takes to set up your new WD Passport portable storage drive on a Windows device. When you are finished moving your files, be sure to eject the drive before unplugging it. Look for the Safely Remove Hardware icon on the taskbar. Right-click the icon, find your WD My Passport portable drive, and click Eject My Passport. For more helpful how-tos, self-help videos, and tips, visit us on the web at www.westerndigital.com/support. Thank you for watching.